Hey, hey. It's me. The the one who plays Massive Chalice um, and gives you all of the good Massive Chalice related content that your heart can hope for on a relatively timely basis a couple times a week. That's right, you guessed it. It's Clark. Nah, I'm kidding, it's Austin. And this is Second Run Gaming. And we're here with Massive Chalice. I wasn't lying about that part. Um, we're at the 19th episode. It's crazy. We're getting up there. We're past the halfway mark. Um, and if you remember that last episode, we got attacked in three different places, which we haven't seen before. So um, this keep up north, we actually just recently defended it. It's pretty good. It doesn't have any cadence uh, markings on there right now. And our territory over here does have one mark of the cadence on there, but there's nothing that we've built there. So I don't really want to go there if I don't have to. Our Crucible though, which we defended maybe a battle ago, it is being attacked again. Not the Crucible itself, but the area it's on. So I think we're going to go there. Um, we've got Wrinklers, Bulwarks, and Cradles. We get some extra experience for doing this mission. Um, so yeah. Alright, so we did lose some people in our vanguard last time. We've got our two Raiden boys hanging out. Coinin um, again was kind of our placeholder, so we'll see if we have somebody of age with a relic on the Raiden line to replace him actually right now. But real quick, I'm going to level up our, our people real quick. You know, to be honest with the alchemists, I think I'm going to keep them with Spirit of the Dart Falcon if I'm leveling them up, because... You know, having two ability slots or, or item slots is really nice, but that increased range and accuracy is imperative for the alchemists in particular. So these are just our younger units that just kind of came of age, it looks like. So as far as the houses are concerned, we've got Baba and Haru is of age by a decent amount because it's been a couple years since we've had our um, big old fight. Um, Haru has really great traits. They're a reveler which is an awesome but yeah their traits are wonderful and they have um, the relic that was passed on. If you remember from the last episode as well the genders of all of our people got switched. Doesn't really matter but you'll notice that Haru and Balon are uh, sporting some fancy stylish new hairdos and Jess has a big old mustache. So we've got a Liu and a Marquan to add in here. Um, Pacifica is going to be the one that has our relic. So he's going to be the guy that we're throwing in there for the Liu line. And then Sky has our relic for the Marquand household. So at this point, since we have four relics in play, and when Jess passes away, we will have a fifth relic. That's really all that we need. So without further ado, let's get to it. May the horns of battle carry you to victory. All right, the horns have spoken. So again, I, I think I mentioned it last time we fought in an area like this, but this is my least favorite type of map. I actually like the look of them, but they're just, I find that they're the most dangerous because of how labyrinthine they are. Um, is that a word? Labyrinthian? I don't know. Um, it looks like this area is naturally blocked off. So we've got a potential spot for enemies over here. A potential spot for enemies over here to the left and then obvious enemies directly in front of us thankfully the game was nice and didn't uh, split up our people so we're all together I'm gonna have our alchemist run up front just so that they don't have to throw too far for their range to really do a lot it's tempting to have them go directly there but they actually do more damage in the middle and that'll hit both actually revealed another wrinkler so it's super important that we at least take out this front wrinkler um, hopefully both by the end of this turn okay well we definitely have weakened them up with our um, with our alchemist so I'm gonna move Pacifica since she's the newest I'm gonna have her just kind of hopefully uh, take out that weaker wrinkler And then I'm going to have Jess come over here and have her focus on this wrinkler in the back. 
or not. Okay. Okay, so... I'm curious, that might look like a direct charge. I'm going to try and math it. It is a direct charge for Haru or Balon, but Haru can move a little bit further. I don't know if, if Haru's going to have enough length, but I'm going to try and charge at this wrinkler. Hopefully knock him into something. They're not stunned, so I might have just accidentally locked Haru in, unfortunately, to get hit by that wrinkler. Um, but at least they're far away from everybody else. And Balon, unfortunately, can't really do too much. Okay, so it looks like the enemies are coming at us for this one. At least for the, at least for the beginning. Oh yeah. And see, we're starting to see advanced bulwarks. So they have a shit ton more health. They're level seven. Um, and advanced just it, is pretty much our understanding that we need to start researching that advanced armor and advanced weaponry because we're going to get eclipsed by the cadence pretty soon here if we don't. So that sign of that advanced bulwark is kind of my sign to... Uh, focus on that a little bit more since we haven't been doing that we've just been focusing on getting our keeps some babies wow yeah so they are all coming at us it looks like they know where we are this time around and it's just on us to take out as many of them as possible so we don't become overwhelmed okay let's see here i'm not really worried about the seas and the cradles obviously this wrinkler is like priority number one but this bulwark over here is a real risk, too, because it's advanced. Oh, fuck, and we have these wrinklers over here, too. This is going to be tough. Okay. Well, Sky really can't do too much. So I'm going to have... Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, we... Yeah, this is tough. So yeah, he just has the explosive caper. I'm going to have Haru hit from over here. Just because I want Sky to throw a flask, but I don't want Haru to get caught in the crossfire. Just in case. Great. That at least takes that cradle out. We just have to make sure that we're knocking out at least one or two enemies a turn if we do have a bunch of these enemies that are closing in. I'm a little worried that Haru might meet an untimely death here. We're going to have to just, you know, do what we can. I am going to have Balon maybe use that explosive caper, but we're going to see if if we can take out this wrinkler first, because that's kind of more important. We can. Okay, cool. So that kind of frees up Balon to take out some of those seeds just so that they're not surrounding our guys as much. And this should hopefully take out all three of them. Nice. I'm going to have Jess focus on the Wrinkler just so that we can soften him up. Because he is going to come for us. Yep. And Jess is one of our older people. I think he might be the oldest in the Vanguard. Oh, God. So, yeah, those bulwarks are real trouble once they get to that advanced stage. Haru's going to have to heal, like, now. And it's still going to be dicey for her. But I, I would love to not lose her since this really is her first battle. I feel bad about that. So I'm going to move Haru up here. It's really not too much cover, but at least it's farther away from everybody else except for the one bulwark that's been tormenting her. We kind of, in some ways, have to focus on this wrinkler a little bit. But I'm going to see if we can't get our Caber Jacks to do that. Perfect. That way we can free up our hunters to maybe, maybe at least one of them hit that bulwark. The knockback's not really going to do too much from here, so I'm going to see if it makes the most sense for Jess to do it damage-wise, or if it makes more sense for Pacifica to do it 
definitely Pacifica, and that's really just because Pacifica has that leveled up relic. Which is really great though, that took out almost half of their health. Hopefully that can aggro the Bulwark too. Um, we're gonna have Jess... Just since Jess is in this same area, I could see that Bulwark getting like a triple hit right here. I'm gonna move her up just by one. And I'm gonna have her, she can't see that wrinkler anymore unfortunately, dang that sucks. So I'll have her just take out this seed that's closest to Haru. Fuck. I'm most worried about Haru still. No! Well, we honestly haven't lost someone in battle in a really long time. It's sad though because Haru had great stats and it was their first battle. It was really just unfortunate that they they kind of just caught the Bulwark's eye and never got out of it. I didn't really help it seems. I, I should have maybe moved Haru in the opposite direction of that Bulwark. I guess it wasn't paying too much attention just on that end. So it's kind of on me a little bit. Gonna have Jess just move forward one again. Pay attention. Oh, it's not Jess. It's Pacifica who needs to hit that bulwark. So we'll have Pacifica do it. Oh, hell yeah. Well, I wish that would have happened maybe a turn earlier. Um, but we're gonna have we're just gonna take that bulwark out now. Since that they did so much damage to Haru. And then we're gonna have Sky just quickly take out this seed. Well, we're down to four, but we have a second to regroup at least. Balon can't get all the way up there, so I'll have Balon move up here, kinda, and then just kinda stay put. Alright, and that Wrinkler is, thankfully, was just going after that rock. Looks like the Wrinkler maybe didn't have a good view of us either. I've changed my mind on Cradles. I think maybe I was wrong about how dangerous their attacks are. It's really just that they make a shit ton of seeds, which is not too bad, in my opinion. Alright, Pacifica, 24 to 30 from there. I'm actually going to move her closer and see if she's not within range on this point blank shot. She's not, so we'll just do that 24 to 30. And then we'll see if Jess can't take this wrinkler out. Almost, so close. Because of that, I am gonna move our alchemist up here and see if we can't just seal the deal. Beautiful. And then I'm gonna move Balon up two, just to be slightly behind cover. We're gonna use our explosive caber to take these two seeds out. And then Sky's just going to use their remaining turn to run back over so that they can maybe turn their attention to the Cradle. See, the second that I said I wasn't worried about the Cradles, they do that fucking super powerful move, but they missed. So, you still don't know what I'm talking about. Alright, we're going to have Balon just run right up there. They do have the lone wolf trait, so she's going to do better um, far away. And then we're going to get Sky over here just so that they're in the general area. And really just kind of get everybody in the general area. I think Jess can actually, hopefully he can see the cradle from where he's at. Yup. Never mind. And... Pacifica can too, so there's a possibility that we can at least get another hit, and it might be enough. Almost. That actually works out okay, barring that the Cradle doesn't fuck us up right now. No, he missed. That way we have a full turn to take out those seeds that the Cradle's gonna spawn. I'm gonna have Pacifica actually take the second shot on here. Yeah. 
and then if we can swing it, we're going to see if Balon, if she can't just take them all out. Uh, move her up one and just bash all three of them. Whew. They good. Level up and everything. Okay. So there's a bulwark here, a cradle there, and there's definitely some enemy over there too. And our guys are honestly kind of spread out right now. So I'm going to see if Pacifica can't get... I am going to move her closer to the bulwark. Maybe here. And see if Pacifica can't do a knockback shot and stun him. It did not stun him. Well, that sucks. Okay. And then I'm going to move Jess closer to kind of honestly both of them. We can't do any more damage on the, the advanced uh, bulwark right now, so we're going to focus our energies on the cradle. Use that free throw. And then if we can't just sprint forward and get a little melee action going. And then Balon, I'm going to move him over here. Actually, no, I'm going to move him over here because the Bulwark is still going to be our main threat. I don't like the idea of our archer taking him on alone. Oh, Jesus, God. This is what I mean about this difficulty spike. It's not even a difficulty spike, it's just that we don't have advanced armor and we're fighting an advanced unit. This is really bad. Because of the... Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh, we haven't wiped in this game yet, but I mean at this point, we are reaching a dangerous space. What do I do with this? What do I even do? I don't... Oh, my goodness. This is really... Shitty. Real shitty. Okay, well, Jess is gonna go up here. And do a flask shot. Man, that really just does 3 to 5 damage, huh? Just 3 to 5? Versus 3 to 6? Oh, we're fucked, boys. Well, yeah, fuck it. Flash shot on both of them. This is not good. Sky's pretty much going to be responsible just for taking this cradle out. Yeah, fuck it. I think we might wipe on this level. I I think I think that we are screwed. Um Yeah, this is looking real bad. Unfortunately I think Pacifica is kind of in the most precarious spot and they really can't move very far. Uh, I think Pacifica is pretty much done unfortunately so we're gonna run her up here with a point blank hope for a critical oh wow okay a miss just a big swing and a miss okay holy shit this is uh so great okay all right well i'm gonna move bail on down here cut our losses pacifica's done Wow, okay. God, they just do so much damage. It's Jess who's in... They're all just screwed. So I think the only play that we have here is to try and isolate each and every one of the bulwarks. There's absolutely no way that we can fight four of them at once and survive. As you can see, like, one attack will just ends it. Um... 
like Pacifica, for example, since she's just so young and her health is so light, like she's she's just totally totally screwed. Um, so I, I don't really know what to do in, in her situation in particular. And Jess just does no damage to to them. And I'm not really sure why. I guess because she doesn't have that relic yet. Yikes, this is this is tough. See, I'm gonna have Jess run over here for now just so that hopefully yeah that he, he's just not in like danger or at least as present of danger i'm gonna have balon at least explode two of those seeds just so we can get these seeds out of the way and we are fucked though i don't know how we're gonna get out of this I'll run her back here. Hopefully there's no enemies back here. And hopefully that bulwark doesn't... So it looks like hopefully the, the bulwarks at least are splitting up. But it's really going to come at down to the four of our units versus the four bulwarks. We have Pacifica heal. It's a risk because that other bulwark might, might find him. But it's kind of the only spot we have. I'm going to have him stealth immediately after that we'll have sky take out this seed nice level i'm gonna move balon here i don't see that other bulwark which is good but damn it that charge is just off and we can't we can't hit him at all in any way shape or form which is unfortunate there's not really much we can do for Balon right now. Move him right there. So we know there's a second bulwark here. I assume there's a third one here and a fourth one here. I'm going to have Jess heal as well. Just because this is probably the only time that we have. Oh no. Oh good. And we're kind of in some ways at the mercy of just the bulwarks missing their shots. So 23 to 29 damage. And that's pretty much all we've got. I'm gonna stealth Pacifica and move him here just so we can see a little bit better what we can work with. And I'm gonna try, that's really the only move that they can do. I'm gonna stealth move him one more. And yeah, I guess with Balon, we don't have much of an option. We're just gonna have Balon try that was amazing. Thank goodness. I mean, it's still it's still not ideal since we that other bulwark can see us, but it's what we got. I'm gonna have um, our Marquand heal just because at 14 health that is not enough to survive at this point. Um, Jess can't stealth, which means they must be slightly in view. So their only option really is to hit that bulwark or not, or just miss. Okay, so that's three of them. Damn it. I was trying to avoid that exact scenario. I'm just, I'm so bad with the, the diagonal angles in this game. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is heartbreaking. Oh fuck. Okay. So we know where they all are now, which is something at the very least. I'm going to have Jess hopefully take out this bulwark from here, because Balon can't be the one to do it, or they resign themselves to, to death, most likely. Balon can't really do too much in the ways of getting cover unfortunately but they can charge and they can charge far away and they're gonna 
God, this is the most stressed out I've been in a minute in this game. Um, unfortunately, this doesn't actually shield Sky, but puts Sky far away. I'm actually going to have Sky come back here, though. And hopefully, that will protect them enough. And Pacifica, I mean, it's tempting in some ways to have Pacifica here. Just as a way to um, keep tabs or, or ambush them. I could try. I can't actually sprint them, so if they want to remain in stealth, they're kind of stuck here. I could toy with the idea of doing the knockback shot. Oh, the risk I run there is that Pacifica literally is one shot away from, from death. And it's only a 60%. So I'm going to stealth... No, I'm going to just keep Pacifica where they are. And, and let the bulwarks hopefully spread out just a little bit. There's a fucking wrinkler too. I mean, I'm happy that, again, we've survived this far, but I, d I still, we're, we're, pre we're pretty screwed. <laughs> I don't see how we're going to make it. I'm hopeful, sure, but I, j I don't fucking see it. Okay. Balon's going to go behind this egg <laughs> and heal. And then Jess is pretty much found out now. So we're going to have Jess at least hit for that bulwark. Do a little bit of damage. This guy can't do anything. Unfortunately. Pacifica, I think, if we hit this right with the knockback shot, can hopefully stun this bulwark. Fingers fucking crossed. Fuck. Oh, man. Hi -ya -ya -ya. Uh. My boy. That wasn't even. Ugh. Oh, fuck. If we lose relics here, I'm going to be beyond devastated because they're all in this battle. Anyway, um. This fight's going to take a second, uh, so I'm going to end this episode here. It's not on a high note. I don't know if we're going to make it. Um, but either way, thanks for watching, and tune in next time to see the stunning conclusion and potential upset of either us somehow making it out of this alive, or more likely than not, um, of the first board wipe of the game. See you next time.